Hello everyone. So far, the last video we left it off by creating the edit function. We didn't create the edit functionality, but we added the edit. So when we click on edit, it will do a console log. But this edit button we added is on the customer row, uh, and we are calling this using the props event we're using the props event and the event it is, is described on this customer table so on this video i'm going to create here the checkbox and uh, i'm going to use that checkbox to edit so let's go to the checkbox not checkbox itself uh, go to the bootstrap and uh, get started let's pick the checkbox okay so we need the input type checkbox uh, so I'll just maybe maybe just need this I guess let me see so instead of this uh, here but uh, we will also create another header here first call select So now we will add here T T D and we will add checkbox. We don't need a label. I think we just need a checkbox. Okay, so we have very nice checkbox here. Okay, so now we have a checkbox and uh, we'll use this later on. So let's create the add functionality. So let's go to the customers and uh, let's go on top of this table and let's create the add, add component. Before to create the add component, we also need a router because the add is going to be a different component and we will send this to a different page. So to install the router on our React app, what we need to do is we need to install the React Router Dome. So React Router Dome. So we just copy this guy and paste it here. So this is going to be installed the React Router Dome and we need to create a couple of the routers so let's get started to creating a router so we will create a create a router here by router and we will give here we'll put this inside the router now it will give us an error it doesn't find what is a router is so we need to import browser router as router we'll tell the browser router as a router from react router dom okay <clears throat> so now once we have a router we need to create the also the route and uh, first let's create a switch we want the headers to show every time but not not javascript switch but and on switch inside we can create a route and this everything is coming from the React Router DOM. Okay, so now we will see this, but we have to give some here in route. We can give some, like if the path is matched with exact, and we'll tell the path is 
if it's empty then we will render the customer and if something else then we will not render it all right so this is the route and we will create another route called add and add is going to be yeah on add we will tell the this is going to be add component add customer so inside the customer we will create another folder called add customer and we will create another file called add customer js uh, must be capital letter so we will create a fun react uh, component here with the add customer and this is going to be our form so just for make the life a little easier go to bootstrap and get that form any form it doesn't even matter so here is a form we don't need this uh, we will use this every time i don't need this as well okay now done text so now if you go to the add uh, add we have to tell here the add customer is a add and uh, add the just okay Oh, it's a capital letter add so now we will see the uh, form here so on this form maybe we will add some class name as a container to give some padding and we make this form control a little bit smaller okay <clears throat> make this little maybe make, make this button as well smaller okay now instead of email address this should be a name and uh, name okay let's change this to DOB and let's change this to credit limit good now we will give some padding here oh, mid margin margin y-axis give you some y-axis margin here good now it's also give me some error which is uh, there is a lot of class i will use i can't use this class here so i should just change to the class name uh please repeat here and this for us also and it's also complaining that I can use this for I don't need this at all by the way so I'm just going to do this for now okay so now we have really nice form if you go to the so go to the nav it's supposed to go to front page but it's not going yet so go to the layout header and when we click this guy make this to go to to front page to do that react has something called link So on the link we can do two and we can give a slash here and we need to import a link as well from react router dom react router dom okay so if i save this guy now you click it it will go to the front page so now look, let's go in our customer and let's add the button here somewhere so here let's add a button call add customer okay so let's let's give some class here class gonna be btn btn dash primary that bt primary btn dot sm okay so let's give some margin as well okay so we have add customer here and we will add the customer 
and uh, it's supposed to go to uh, front uh, customer page at ad page so to do that exact same thing link to slash add so now we don't it doesn't know that what's a link now so i need to import the link as well there from react router dom so i'll just copy this guy and put it here so now if i click add it goes to here if i go back it comes here add go back add go back right so when we add now we need to submit the data that's our next step so let's do that So when we add the customers, we will get this all this data. And uh, let's get this data here. Let's do constant submit. Okay. And uh, when the form will be submit it will call unsubmit this is a regular javascript html yeah, functions we can write here and it will call the javascript but instead of javascript we should call, call yeah we can call javascript function here but we will call the submit that we just defined on the top we'll pass the event here and we'll tell that this is prevent default so it doesn't refresh the page so once we get the event here uh, we can get the the name from this event e dot target dot value so this is going to be our name dov and credit limit we have to also do a valid here but I'm not going to show a validation now. I'm just going to add the data and, and go the rest of it. This is going to be one and this is going to be two. Okay. So once we have the once we have this, we will create this as object name dob and create limit so once we have this let's see if we can get us data or not so we add it here we'll see all the data dob is undefined oh because instead of here value i said right dob so if i change this now we will see the data but we also need to do evaluations here and in the overboard, I think it's it's easier. It's better to put the uh, calendar uh, selection, but Bootstrap doesn't support that. But you can use a jQuery for that one. Uh, but uh, I'm not gonna do any validations for now. So now let's go to the uh, submit part. So we'll call another functions here. This will post. This will do a post customer. So basically now this will do call the axios and uh, let's do the axios dot post so on the post we will write the post functions here and we will pass the data data is going to be data which is passing which we will pass here because I will put this here as well and uh, then then if it's something everything's good then we will get a response if it's something bad then it will throw the error catch will catch the error all right so now we need to pass this what is the uh, so we know that what is going to be customer exactly the same thing but no customer so this will do a post request with the data and yeah it will post it the data so now let's see we have eight here 
so let's test this out if i do this submit then it's an error it's a 400 error let me check what's the error age i think it's because date of birth is yeah date of birth is messed up so we have to do like 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 this so now the customer is added nine and if you go back then there is a there should be another oh, nine data is here in the top uh, so it's adding all, all the way on the top so if I do one more time here and credit limit submit then we'll go here is added here somehow it doesn't add the credit limit and it's why this is guy is also showing in the first place we could make this as a ascending descending error uh, let me go to the json and reload this how is showing up yet yeah, nine is showing up in the front somehow uh, so we have to make like descending order or ascending order by creating date or yeah by creating date is good enough so we can see the last credit was the first one now i just want to check the one more time this why why this uh, credit limit is, is, is not working so if submit credit limit is going through but uh, let me check here credit limit is null and if I sending it, I send this guy. Oh, it's a, it's not a. I didn't. I misspell it here. It should be credit limit, but it should credit limit. So that was the issue because it doesn't find this property there. So now, if I do this, and we will see the everything is posted credit also posted so now if I go back and if I check the latest one the credit is here all right so on the next video I'm gonna uh, clear this data I'm gonna make this data board clearly and I also make this as a descending order and we will go from there thank you very much for watching and uh, that's all for this video